Hey guys, this is Eddie the Magic Monk. How are you going? Uh, as you can see right now, we're trying to build a game, a HTML5 game in Construct 2. The game is now live on my website, so feel free to go play it at the address shown. Uh, so we're trying to build up to this game in Construct 2, so make sure you keep following all my tutorials. Um, so where did we get up to last lesson? Well, we got up to in Construct 2, we we're able to move a airplane around and shooting bullets. Um, so the first thing I want to do is talk about how to insert the background. Right, insert the background. Right now the background is white, which is a little bit annoying. So let's uh, have a look at the concept of layers. So on the right hand side you can see a layers panel. If you're not there, switch to the layers panel and uh, basically right now we have a layer called layer 0. So let's right click on that and choose rename and call it gameplay. Gameplay. So what that means is anything related to playing the game we're putting it in this layer. And also in the event sheet so last lesson we programmed an event and that was when the space bar is released generate the bullet in layer 0 so click on that action where it says layer 0 and change your layer instead of saying 0 put uh, quotation mark gameplay okay so click done and that is because uh, this layer might not always be layer 0. We might move it up, down, left, right. We might have four layers. This might be layer 1 or 3 or whatever. So just re if you refer to the layer using the name, then it will always refer to this layer. Okay, so uh, what I want to do now is I want to go back to layout 1 and I want to lock this layer. And I want to right click add layer at bottom and I'm gonna name this layer so rename this layer to uh, background okay and you can see here the background layer is selected I've locked the game player gameplay layer which means I can't select I can't select the gameplay object okay I can only I'm only editing the background layer and now let's right click on the layout and uh, insert a new object and let's insert a tile background and click on the space somewhere and um, let's open up an image and if you've downloaded the free bundle like I told you to in lesson one you would have got all the sprites in the space shooter folder so go to the backgrounds folder and open up purple background uh, and then close it okay so the purple background is now on the screen but you'll see that you can't see it you can't see the background why is that because if you have a look at your gameplay layer so go back and select your gameplay layer uh, it's not transparent which means you can't see anything below this layer so for the gameplay layer make sure you turn the transparent property to yes so that you can see the layers below it okay so let's go back to the background layer and you'll see that right now the picture is not on the top left so make make it go to the top left by typing for the position property change it to zero zero so it goes to the top left and then for the size of the tile background um, if you click uh, the background, you'll see that the layout size is 1280-720. So I'm going to rename, sorry, I'm going to edit the size property to 1280 by 720. So the picture covers the whole layout. And now when you play the game, okay, you'll see that, you'll see that um, it's, got a purple background which is a little bit better than a little bit better than before okay now that's great but how does the how do people know what to do in your game right because if you imagine someone opening up your game right now 
All they do is they see an airplane, they have no idea what to do. So what I want to do is, firstly I want to move this airplane. So let's unlock the gameplay layer. Now let's lock the background layer because we're not going to edit that anymore. Go to the gameplay layer and I'm going to move this airplane down to the bottom. And then near the top somewhere, I'm going to right click. I'm going to add another layer. Okay, I'm going to add another layer. Sorry about all these layers of so locking the background layer. Let's add another layer on top. All right, and I'm going to call this layer. Uh, rename it and I'm going to call it uh, let's say information all right all the information for the players all right so information or instructions so I'm editing the information layer and I'm going to right click on the screen insert new object and I'm going to insert a text a label okay uh, and might as well put a name here now and the name is instructions so I'm gonna insert an instructions text instructions text and I'm going to change the font of it make it a little bit bigger so change the font to about let's say 28 and change the color to let's say just something more obvious something brighter and make it a bit bigger here so right now so far what do I need to tell the player I'm gonna say move the plane move the aircraft or spaceship by pressing the arrow keys and press space bar to shoot okay so when you play this game right you have some idea of what to do you have some idea of what to do okay so this video is getting a bit long so let's stop here uh, thanks for watching guys see you next time